Hey guys, I'm Captain Tammy Gray on The Real Action. And uh, I'm going to give you a little marine etiquette today about your marine radios. Uh, every boat has at least one. Some boats have multiple. We have three. Here's your marine radio. And uh, this one, for, for instance, I can change my channels up and down. And if I want to uh, hail for help to the Coast Guard, I have an emergency button right here. High and low frequency, that's for if I'm close to somebody or if I'm far away. If you're uh, if you're on high and somebody's really close to you, you're going to blare them out. It's going to be really loud. So you use high frequency when you're far away from each other and low frequency when you're really close. We have a little network that we uh, that we talk to of, of fishermen. We have code words we use on the radio. Uh, we have places that we call by certain names that are certain numbers on your GPS so that uh, your buddies know where you're at, but the people that you don't want you know, to follow you around, they, they don't know where you're going. Most important thing about your radio is, ha is hailing for help. If you need help, you're taking on water or your boat's on fire. You know, you have a marine distress number. In case of emergency, you're going to hit the uh, 169 button, and that's going to hail the Coast Guard. Uh, the Coast Guard will ask for your uh, your longitude and latitude. So if we were actually having an emergency right now, I'd pick up the radio and I'd turn it to the Coast Guard station, and I'd say, "Mayday, Mayday, Mayday! This is vessel WDG 5553." real action. Uh, I'll give my longitude and latitude and I would uh, tell them what's going on, the color of the boat, and how many people I have and what's going on with my situation. And uh, they would make a, a call as to what to do next. I'm Captain Tammy Gray and uh, that's how you use your marine radio and I hope this demonstration can help you when you're out on the water.